Okay, does this photo really show a bunch of fish that got frozen in a wave? Or is this some kind of Photoshop fake? I've got the answer to that deep freeze of a mystery, plus answers to a whole bunch of other suspicious pictures that you guys sent in. Like this picture that claims to show kids that had to go to school during a flood, a photo of a squirrel that likes to drink from a straw, a picture that claims to show a boy feeding his pet lion, and a photo that wants us to believe this is a blue toad. Is there any way this could be real? Hey guys, Olivia here. Bill's off working on some fishing videos this week, or at least that's what he says he's doing. Anyways, we've got some real or fakes this week that are really gonna tweak your brain cells. So what do you say we get started? Is it possible these kids were forced to go to school in the middle of a big flood? Well, that's what this picture would have us believe. It was sent in by Knacker Jam Player, who just asked, Hey Bill, is this some kind of joke? Well, Knacker Jam Player, I'm sure that Bill would have a good laugh on this one. I mean, school's important, but so important that students have to stand in waist-deep water to learn their ABCs? I know what I think, but did you guys vote yet? Did you vote real? Did you vote fake? Maybe it's unknown and we'll actually never know if these kids had to go to school during a flood. All right, let's take a look. And the answer is real. Some parents are making their kids go to school during a flood. I would be severely ticked off. Thanks to Facebook super sleuth, Marala Hansen, we now have the source of this strange photo. It comes from an article published by the Asia Center for Flood Control titled, Funny Thing That Pinoy's Do During a Flood. The article, written by Jill de Guzman, says that 10 major tropical storms hit the Philippines every year. But despite all the flooding caused by the storms, Filipinos are masters at not letting it affect their lifestyles. Squirrels are pretty crafty little creatures, but this photo seems to stretch the boundaries of believability. The photo was sent in by Big Mac, who wrote, Did this squirrel really take the last sip of somebody's orange juice using a straw? Big Mac, this silly picture is actually a lot tougher than it looks. As Facebook researcher Atlas Leader pointed out, it isn't that uncommon to see squirrels doing this. But as many readers, including Caleb Rothschild and Giovanni Stanforth pointed out, this orange juice thief has no shadow and no reflection. But hey, what do I know? All right, how'd you guys vote? Are you ready for the answers? Let's take a look, shall we? And the answer is, you guys aren't gonna believe this. It's unknown. First off, before you go running to the comment section to tell us that this is really a chipmunk, we know that, thanks to the sharp eyes of Alana James and Sherry Orange. You go, girls. But as far as the picture is concerned, we do believe chipmunks can learn how to do this but we just couldn't find anything that could confirm this picture one way or the other. Keep looking, people. Number three is this picture, which wants us to believe that this young boy has a pet lion that he feeds at the dinner table. Willie Kramer sent this strange black and white photo in and just asked, is this picture for real? Willie, I've gotta say, this kind of looks like it comes from the set of some crazy old movie, which would make it a BCF, a big cat fake. Anyways, I think that we should all just call out this feline farce so we can move on with our day. Are you guys ready to hear the answer? Cause I know I am. The answer is just what I thought it would be. The picture of the small boy Feeding a lion is real. In reality, his name is King, and he was rescued as a cub from a zoo in Azerbaijan. The man who rescued King kept the young cub at the family apartment for many years, and it grew up as part of the family. There was never a problem until the family began to rent King out for movies. While working in a movie, King attacked a boy who was taunting him and was killed by a policeman. Number two, the blue toad. Most of us have seen a toad in our lifetimes, 
But how many of us have seen this rare blue toad? Area code 203 sent this one in and wants to know if there's any such thing as a blue toad. 203, with a picture like this, you need to be very careful because frogs and toads come in a variety of colors. But you want to know what I'm curious about? I want to know the difference between frogs and toads anyways. I mean, are they the same species? You know what? I digress. Let's get back to the point here. All right, now that you guys are done voting, I think we should take a look. We should see what the answer is. We should see if this picture is real or fake. All right, I've got the answer right here. I'm gonna make it short and sweet. The answer is fake. Thanks to sharp-eyed members of the Facebook research team, we now have the original picture, which, as you can see, is not even close to being blue. Our thanks to Anad Tyson and Hassan Saeed for digging up the original. That's marvelous. Number one. Our last picture of the day claims to show what happens to fish who swim too close to the shore during a flash freeze. The picture was sent in by Zoe Webb 2007 who wrote, Hey Bill, I want to know if this is real or fake. Well Zoe, you know, here at Bill's channel we see lots of pictures of tiny little innocent creatures who got caught in some very cold weather. Here are some other fish that got frozen in place. That was real. And how about this fox, frozen in place when it was trying to cross a river? That was real too. But this, this, I'm not so sure about. I mean, do you realize how cold it would have to be for a wave to freeze just before it crashes on shore? I mean, that is a lot colder than anything we experience on this planet. Okay guys, how about we just Put this one to rest, just call it a day. Did you guys cast your votes? All right, good. Because we all already know that this picture is 100% real. Thanks to ever active Marinus Kramer of Facebook research team fame, we now know the picture was taken by Kelly Preheim at Lake Andy's National Wildlife Refuge. According to Kelly, these fish were actually killed due to lack of oxygen. Once dead, they float to the surface and become frozen in ice. As the ice expands, it gets pushed up into frozen waves to create a rare photo opportunity. Okay, well that's all the time we have left for today's show, but we've got a new Real or Fake show coming out every single Friday. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and click that little red bell so you'll be alerted whenever we post new content. And don't forget, if you wanna join the Facebook research team and maybe get a big shout out right here, just head on over to Bill's channel on Facebook. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box. Also, if you have a picture or video and you're not quite sure if it's real or fake, send it to Bill's channel at gmail.com and we'll take a look. Adios, Adios amigos. amigos.